Hi, in this video we will see how we can create Nifty Xamarin Forms applications using styles. So what I have here is that I have an application that contains three labels and three entries. Those elements have common properties. So for the labels, for example, I have two common properties. The text color is navy and the font size is 50. Those properties are repeated in my three labels. The same thing for my entry. They all have one text color, which is purple. The same for the uh, second one and the, for the third one. So here, if I want to change the property for one of them, I should also repeat that um, that change in every in, in every element here. So, for example, let's say I want to change this to black. So I have to copy this modification for every element in my user interface. So, to work around this, there is the concept of a style. So, how we can implement a style? So, the way to implement a style is to come inside the page content here and create a resource node. So it's content page instead of page content, okay. And it's resources. Let's correct that. It's content page dot resources. Let's correct all of this. And here inside the resources node, I'll declare a dictionary, a resource dictionary. So you should declare the resource dictionary inside of which you will put your, uh, your styles. If you don't declare the resource dictionary and you run your application, it will, um, it will crash. So let's define our first style, of type style, and here I should Say, uh, define the key so here I'm gonna define the label so I call it custom um, label style and this element will have a target type target type of label This style will have properties that we will change, so we define them inside the setter properties. So each setter will have a property. So for the label, I am gonna change uh, the text color. So here yeah, I search for text color, and the text color I should specify the value which gonna be uh, let's say purple and I'm gonna add another setter to change the point size of my label so here let's say the property is gonna be the font size and here we specify the values which will be 50 and this is our first custom label style now we need to get rid of this property and change them using our uh, created styles so here I come to the label and remove the old properties and specify here style and inside this codes will say that we will use a static resource 
and here we can see that the custom label style is now shown as um, in Sharper we know that uh, we can use uh, this, um, this key and I will use this style for each entry in my user interface so I can go here also and remove this and paste our uh, created uh, style the same thing here I remove these two properties and replace them with our uh, style so this way we have created a style for our label now let's run our application and see how it looks like so now we have so it's, it seems like the uh, old interface so the uh, three labels now looks um, uh, identical and like we create as we, uh, like we created a style for our label we can create also a style for our entry so how we can do that I'm gonna copy and paste this one here and I'm gonna call it custom um, entry style the target type this time is the entry so as the entry doesn't have font size I'm gonna remove this one and specify another color so for example the navy color and now I'm, I will use this key to define this style for my entry so I remove the text color and here I come back and add a style static resource so here our custom uh, custom entry style I use this again here for each uh, entry in my application F5 Now let, let, we will see that our entry will be shown in navy color. So now if I didn't like for example the pur purple color here I can uh, uh, I can go back here to the style and not changing um, the color property in each entry so I here I will be able to change it once and that change will be used in each property that uses that style so here it is now our labels are all shown in black here as we use we created a style for the label and for the entry we can also create style for um, for almost any uh, user control in Xamarin forms including stack layout, buttons, uh, list views uh, and images and almost every uh, user control. Thank you.